decision to return? What went into that and why did you decide to come back? Um, I think a lot of it what had me uh, coming back was mostly break. You know, I think uh, talk to him about some stuff at the next level, you know, just some things for myself that I needed to get right. Uh, a lot with being bigger, faster, stronger, you know, going into the league, you know, ready to deal with grown men versus just playing in college. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with film. Like, I have film, but I think I just want to solidify myself as a guy. He's one of the best guys in the nation coming in through this year, so I think that was my big thing. And what is uh, separating you from uh, I need to get, I want to get the ball out there. I will get the ball out there. Um, I think that's my biggest thing. Um, just being more comfortable with the showcase of my talent, my speed, my skill set, um, I think that's the biggest thing. And I imagine you kind of was a seven year guy, yeah. but yourself as kind of a leader this year. Yeah. What does that look like? Uh, how have you sort of embraced that role? Um, just getting guys in, making guys fun in on the big, the big picture right now. Um, you know, it's real, it's real big, but you know, like just making everything small right now, just focus on the little details that I can at practice. And in the room, um, and through each and every one of the new guys just getting here on campus, you know, I think that I need to just become more vocal. I am being more vocal, but I think, you know, just reaching out to those guys who don't know this, about this, about the playbook, you know, just making sure I clarify this and crystallize it for them. How do you think that the room reloaded with talent? Obviously, you're back mm -hmm. there, but for the most part, you know, you guys lost some guys and brought in some guys. How have some of the new guys, guys like Kobe, fit in? And mm -hmm. do you guys feel you can keep playing at the same level you've been at? I think, man, we play man. So, like, if you play man coverage, I think it'd be pretty good. You know, I think a lot of the guys that came in showcase that. You know, I think uh, we still have a lot of other technique, fundamental stuff, like little little things we got to clean up in our tech. But I think for the most part, everybody who we got in the room can help us. I like I like Jaheim, I like um, Exodus, I like Amarion, but you know, like even still got guys that are still here like Kane, um, Skyler, you know, Noble, um, Massey, like just just those guys, like you know, just pushing the room. Like I need them to just keep doing what they're doing and just push the envelope of the room. How, do, how does the defense feel about having Trent take over the head job? You guys, you guys like having one of your guys. I love. We love it. <laughs> we love it. You know, I, I said I was going to come back if Brazy came back, which was one thing that we talked about, but like a whole bunch of other things included in that. But him being the head of it for the defense, you know, is a good thing. You know, not much changes for us, but um, yeah. Was that like a, a loyalty thing for you to want to come back? Obviously, you know, you're, you had other teammates who had other decisions, maybe follow the old staff elsewhere and other things. Was that just a big loyalty thing for you and defense and wanting to come back and play for Brett? I mean, I love Brett, you know. NIL, like, you know, new stuff like that, you know, I kind of just want to finish what I started. Somewhere I'm comfortable, I know the playbook, you know, just some, I have to push on other people now, so, like, that's just the biggest thing. Yeah. How is uh, Hayward been? What, what have you liked to see out of him? And what's his style? Assess you know, just having Bray as a D coordinator and having Hayward as a coordinator is a little bit different. You know, Brazy gets, he gets a little riled up at practice sometimes. You know, he's more vocal, he's more vocal, more aggressive than uh, Hayward, I would say. But I think um, Hayward, you know, he's a good he's a good coach right now. You know, he's still learning the ebbs and flows of everything, but for the most part, he's pushing pushing the envelope of the program. Similar scheme-wise and similar systems? Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure. You know, I don't, can't put everything out there. You, you mentioned, or asked you about leadership. Who was uh, someone who maybe helped you out when you were a young buck around here? Was a big leader for you? Jay Graham. Yeah. Jay Graham. What made, him, what made him special? He was just different. Walk like being a walk on and then having multiple setbacks, you know, coming to be the leader he was like just saying Jaden Grant, like a lot of people know who that name is yeah. in the city especially and in the state. So like, you know, just watching him going day in throughout to work, like he was a seventh year, he was hurt, had the same injuries. Uh just his mindset about it, like he never gave up. He's been through the fold, you know, he knows how to grind, he knows how to push and lead others. That was the biggest thing I think. And I'm still taking from that and learning how to apply it to these new cats uh, in, in the room and on the team. So that's my, yeah. And so is that like pulling a young guy and looking at film or pulling a young guy in a drill here and talking to him? Like, what does that look like? You know what I mean? I'm like a coach and a player. Okay. So like, I'm big bro to a lot of these guys on the team. So like, 
it's, it's just easy as like pulling somebody aside. Even when I go home, like I'm taking people home, going over to film with them. Like I might call them back into the room. Like we need to go over this. Like I'm talking to the D coordinator. We need to get earlier meetings so we could go over stuff. You know, a little have a little more time on installs. You know, so we get more plays down. But I think the biggest thing is just making sure everybody's okay. Yeah, you know? a lot of new faces. Yeah, yeah. a lot. Yeah. It's a whole new team. <laughs> like one of only two coming back, so it's like it's just way different. You know, then. But yeah. Imagine seven years ago, I run into you and I'm like, I'm gonna see you in yeah. seven years. You're still gonna be here. You never would have thought. <laughs> yeah. You never would have thought. Like, that's just how life goes. Like, you get setbacks and you just gotta deal with it. I'm curious with uh, Coach Hayward. Does he uh, let the DV room know how good he was when he was here as a player? He, 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 hey, he was telling me that in the, in the training room, in yeah. the training room, the weight room. We're talking. He's like, Yeah, I ran this. I jumped this. I'm like, Whoa. Like, okay, okay. He was doing that. He was doing yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> did you get feedback at all? Did you think about? Going to the NFL, or was it an easy? Call? I did, I did. I got, I got feedback uh, on where I, where I go, uh, what I need to work on my weaknesses, my strengths, and I think a lot of it was self manageable for sure. Yeah. Uh, I think I was surprised with some of the feedback I got, and I'm like, you know, okay, it's okay. I'm, I just have another year to prove them wrong, and I know everything I need to do. I have the time to do it. So, what was the biggest surprise? My speed. They said they didn't know what my speed was like, and I was felt kind of disrespected, but it's okay. I'll, I'll showcase that. What's your 40 or whatever? I ran 4 3 last year, but I'm, I'm a 4 3 guy. I mean, so. that seems fast to me. Last I checked, <laughs> it is, it is, man. Nowadays, 4 4 gets you by, so man. Uh, what, what did you graduate in, degree wise? Did you graduate yet? Uh, yeah, New Media Communication. I'm double majoring in sociology right now. Okay, so you're going to do a sociology degree to yeah. follow up on the media communication. Mm -hmm. okay. How many are you going to be able to get that? Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to finish it this next term. Okay, so, so then you'll just do some master's courses or something after mm -hmm. this. Is it encouraging to see a guy like Alex Austin yeah, come, I love come Alex. out of that room yeah. and, and stick and now get a, a new contract? Recently? I love Alex. Yeah, man. It's just It was just incredible. It's just great to see him. I like, just see a lot of the guys in my room, like, you know, we're at Oregon State, we're a grind place anyway, like, you know, we got to get out the mud from the get-go. So to see him go to the leader position he was in, bounce around for a couple different teams, you know, and then show up how he did in the uh, at the end of the regular season, you know, I think that's big for him. I love him for that, you know. I think I think he's going to be one of those ones in the league, you know, and I think they're going to have a good defense going into next year. So I think he's going to be one of those guys that's a key piece for it. I hope so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Thank Thanks, you. Yes, sir. Love you guys. Yeah, okay.